Hello, everybody. We are back here on American Marksman, and I've got a very uh, special thing in today's video that I wanted to show you guys. We managed to get our first uh, melanistic fox, so uh, we're going to go ahead and show that off first. Um, it was not really something I expected to find, and luckily, I made a very poor shot on it the first time, and you may be wondering, why is that lucky? Well, because I wasn't recording. And then by the time I got the recording up, it had already ran off, so we had to track it again. And we did eventually end up finding it and taking it down. Now, something else that I wanted to say is, I actually recently talked to the developers of American Marksman. They reached out to me, and they gave me uh, some currency in-game so that I could show off all the different stuff in the game to you guys over the course of these videos, which is amazing. Shout out to the devs. They are really great. I've seen nothing but positive stuff with them so far. They seem to actually really care about the game, and they also really care about the community, and in fact, they care about the community so much that they gave me some codes to give away f to you guys that will give you 100k cash as well as 500 gold. So, uh, comment down below what you like most about um, this game and also my content on the channel, and I will choose eight winners down below. Um, they sent me 10 codes, but I did already give one to my brother as he plays this game avidly, and I gave one to my wife as well. So there's eight codes ready to go for you guys, so be sure to leave a comment down below uh, saying what you enjoyed most about the video, and I will choose the winners via that way. Now I think it's time that we show off the first thing that I decided to purchase in the game, which was a new house as well as a new, like, a uh, farm? I guess it's called a farm. I chose a uh, new farm in a different region as well as a bigger house, so we can display all of our trophies in here, which is going to be pretty cool. Definitely interested to see what we can make this into. And uh, I also purchased a new plot of land. If we go into free hunt, we can see plot number two right here. This is in the uh, the desert region. I forgot the name of it, but let's go ahead and jump into that and do a hunt here. As it is a pretty cool area, I really do like it. We are also going to be playing in hardcore mode today, as I have found that to be a much more enjoyable mode to play in. It doesn't have any of the help on screen, like you can't use the Hawkeye, and uh, it, it seems to be a bit more along the lines of the experience that I'm looking for. You guys may also notice that I did put a campsite right there in an area that I found to be really good for mule deer. I only did one hunt on this map and immediately found this area up here to be super good for the muleys, so we're going to go ahead and jump in right here. I also did purchase the 243 as a lot of people were saying that it's really good, so we're going to try that out today as well and see if it bags us some good trophies and also uh, just see if the kill time is really good on it. I think we've got something right there. Yeah, that's our first mule deer of the day. Uh, like I was saying, this area seems to be really good for them. Let's see if we can even... Yeah, that's not going to be close enough for a good shot. Let's move up a bit. Oh my gosh, right up there. That is a wild boar and it's actually getting away. I really wish I had seen that a little bit sooner. That would have been really nice to get down. But we still have this mule deer up here, so I'm not really too worried about it. It is what it is. Uh, the mule deer is something I'm a bit more interested in anyway. And it's not in view anymore. Going to assume it has probably moved as well. Oh my gosh, there we go. That is a bear. And again, it is spooking off. The animals are a little bit uh, more spooky in hardcore mode. We're going to have to hit this thing a few times. And three shots takes it down. There's that wild boar that we were looking at. Let's just drop one into it real quick. And oh, it didn't move. We actually got another shot into it, so... That worked out about as good as it could have. Gosh, there is stuff just all over. This is why I put up a tent here. This area is just loaded, and that's a pretty good start to the day. That is a really low rareness rating, but it is a brown bear, which I have not killed a lot of, so that's pretty cool. I'd say if there's one thing about the guns that I would change, it's the fact that in here, the 243 is currently... One of the stronger weapons that you can get, the only one stronger, I believe, is the 7.62 AR. But in real life, 243 would be much weaker than a 30 6 and it would also be weaker than a 308, if I'm not mistaken. I do believe 308 is better than 243 in real life, so I'd like to see that in the future. Maybe have the 243 as one of the first guns that you get, one of the cheaper guns that does less damage, and then make the 30 6 and the AR like the top two guns. I do think that would make it a little bit more realistic, but I, I guess it doesn't really matter too much as long as the game is still fun. 
After all, it is a game, so nothing's gonna be perfectly true to life. Well, let's go for a longer range shot. I don't know how this is gonna go, but that looked like a very solid hit. The 243 is definitely a very strong rifle in this game. It's been really good so far. And yeah, it just died, so we took that thing down extra, extra quick. Also, if I'm not mistaken, I don't believe I had the 308 in the last video. I did end up purchasing, or not the 308, we did have the 308, the, um, the AR. I don't believe I had that in the last video, but we do have it now, and, uh, it, it's really good. It's probably my favorite gun in the whole game. Uh, this 243 is definitely becoming my close second favorite, but, uh, this AR is just, it's just too good. It's so much fun to use, and it's really effective. Oh, and be sure to go for these boxes anytime you find them, as it does give you currency, and sometimes upwards of a thousand cash, which is really really useful especially early on when you're still trying to purchase everything it can be very very helpful let's go ahead and try to figure out where we killed this mule deer to be honest i don't even know where it went i might have to look for the blood trail oh my gosh right here that's gonna be a doe going down one more shot to get her on the ground so there's that little doe. Let's go ahead and grab her. Rareness of 39. 476 cash, though. Not bad. Honestly, I'm curious. Does the distance that you shoot them at depict how much money you get as well? Because I've noticed that some of these ones that I shoot closer, I, I seem to get more for. Maybe it's just because it dies quicker. It, it's hard to say. Maybe I'm just uh, imagining it, but it definitely feels that way sometimes. I gotta say, whenever you're playing in hardcore mode, it's definitely gonna be a necessity to just watch where the animal goes down and then run straight to it because you can very easily lose where you shot it. I don't know if there's a way to place markers. I don't think there is, so you just gotta be really careful with where you're, uh, where you're looking whenever you down an animal. Oh, and also, since I, uh, forgot the name of this region at the beginning, I just looked it up. This is the southwestern region. So far, I'm kind of enjoying this. Just as much, maybe even more, than the Rocky Mountains. I haven't hunted the other two locations yet, but so far I think this might be my favorite. Just because I really love desert hunting, and mule deer are one of my favorite species so far in the game. And they are quite plentiful at this location, though uh, in this video we're not really finding too many. Well, what do we have here? Is that some gold I see? I do believe it is. Let's grab that gold. 24 gold. Love to see it as the gold is much harder to acquire than the cash or the materials from what I've seen. So anytime you can find the gold, you gotta grab it. Oh, what is that? Wait, what is that? I have no idea what I'm looking at. Is that a raccoon? Oh my gosh, no way it's a raccoon. That is amazing. I didn't even realize that raccoons were in the game. That is such a cool thing to find. Look at that beauty. That's uh, that's so awesome to see. That actually makes me really happy to see that raccoons are in here. And wow, that gave a lot of money as well. Now given, I do have a premium account so I get double the normal currency, but if you were playing on the free version, you'd still get 340 for a raccoon. That's really good. That is really, really good. Okay, maybe running, but we gotta kill wild boar for one of these missions. Hey, we actually got it. Wow. I am really surprised that that killed it. But, you know, pleasantly surprised, I gotta say. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I ran straight and I still lost it. You really have to pay attention to uh, where the animal goes after you shoot it. And to be honest, I don't recommend long range shooting in this game at all. I definitely recommend that you try to get as close as you can before taking a shot because otherwise you just have a really terrible time trying to figure out where it went if you're playing in hardcore. Obviously if you're playing in the normal mode, then you'll see icons of where the animals went down, but ooh, oh wow. That's a pretty big mule deer. That's a pretty big mule deer. And apparently you can spot them by putting the binos on them. So that's good to know. Uh, we're definitely going to be going for that guy right there. Now the question is, if I spot the animal and then shoot it, will it stay spotted? <sighs> we 
We are about to find out. That guy is huge. Like, oh my gosh, that's a giant. So it looks like it doesn't stay spotted after you shoot it, so that's a bit unfortunate, but kind of expected that as this is the hardcore mode. There's that giant buck right there in the middle. I think we can get him with this shot. And there he goes, giant deer down. That is a monster mule deer. That has got to be the biggest one that I've killed as of now. Well, there he is. That is indeed a massive mule deer right there. Really good to see. Let's go ahead and claim this little guy if we can. In fact, I need to get a screenshot of him on the ground first. Now let's go ahead and pick him up. Let's see what this guy is going to be. 95 rareness. This is an XXL antler size. That guy is probably tax worthy, I would say. We didn't get any organs, unfortunately, but that's partly because I was shooting from very far away. But that's a good deer. That's definitely the biggest one. I wish there was a way to zoom out on the uh, trophy. That would be kind of nice to be able to zoom out. But it, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and collect that guy. And while we're down here, let's actually go a bit more south, and then I think we're going to drop a tent. Here we go. We'll do it right here. So if you guys want to place a tent, you just go in here, go to, I believe, camp. And then you can do the camping tent. And for 500 currency, you can place a tent right here. And that will act as a spawn point. I don't know if you can fast travel to it. Let's see. Um, can we? Wow, you can actually add markers, so that's good. I didn't actually know you could add waypoints. That's really cool. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like we can fast travel, but we can, in fact, spawn at them. So that is the main purpose of it. And then if I want to, I can just place a fire outside the tent, which uh, we're going to do that, you know, make it nice and cozy. There we go. A nice little fire outside the tent. Uh, you know what? While we're at it, let's go ahead and slap a flag down as well. Do that right here. And our little uh, camp is looking great now. Beautiful. You also do have the option to play stuff like deer stands, which is really cool. Um, we're actually going to try that as well. Just because I'm really interested in what they're going to look like. Let's place one right here. And let's get inside of it. Okay, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I, I'm still just blown away at how detailed this game is for a mobile hunting game. It, it's pretty amazing. 954 cash. This is what I'm saying. As sometimes those little cash boxes are just amazing to pick up. Let's go ahead and tax this beautiful mule deer real quickly. Uh, we don't want to sell it. We want to tax it. Um, we're going to put him on a head mount. I do really like the head mounts. And then what else do we got here? We've got that 94 rarity boar. And then we also have that raccoon. I'm going to tax the raccoon just to have a raccoon in the lodge because I think they're going to look really good. Um, yeah, let's do that. And then we will sell the rest of these. Then what we're going to do is go to explore and build up in the top right. And we can go inside and place our trophies. I'm going to put the buck right here in the middle. Let's go ahead and find it. Um, okay, it says I have two mule deer in here. I'm assuming one is from when I hunted here last time. Let's just line it up like that. Beautiful. What an awesome place to put a giant buck. And then got a couple over here. What else are we going to do? I'm thinking, yeah, this mule deer is indeed the one that I got um, the first time that I hunted at that location. So we're just going to do this right here. Nice. You love to see it. That is looking beautiful. And now as far as the raccoon goes, I don't know where we're going to put it. Probably right here. We'll just do something basic. Place it right there. And uh, there's our trophies from the hunt. That beautiful raccoon and that mule deer right there. Uh, this was not from this video, but it is a cool uh, trophy that we ended up getting. And then if we go to the other farm, which we will right now, let's go ahead and take a look at the melanistic fox because it actually is really cool. There it is. Beautiful. To be honest, I don't think they're actually that rare to get. I've seen a good bit of people saying that they've found them. 
but uh, it, it's hard to say. I hope they are rare, but as of now, it's kind of looking like they're not super difficult to get. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a comment down below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new here. As uh, I do content like this all the time, and uh, you guys subscribing shows me that you actually care about the content I make and helps motivate me to make more. But thank you all so much for being here. Be sure to enter the giveaway, like I said, and uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Peace!